hey what's going on guys welcome again to another video so on this video i just did want to show you how you can solve this error as you know i've been working on fiverr so my main objective was to install a django application for someone asked me on fiverr so it was a simple task until when i realized that the task was very very large because i tried to install a application then i was getting this error here 503 service and available the server is temporarily busy try again later so uh, i've been trying to search for stack overflow and other forums uh, every forum has its own answers and everyone is having his own views on how to deal with this area some people may be saying you can solve this by going to the php changing the php version some people are saying maybe you can change the php.in but upon looking for several solutions i came to realize that you know i came to realize that when i was setting my application here you know i decided to add it was i tried for 3.9 and then later on i tried for 3.8 and i tried for 3.7 but all of them they are giving me the same the same problem and the same error this the, the service is temporarily unavailable so i was curious then i, I later on tried to change the python version from this 3.7 to 2.7 then what has happened so the application was up and it was learning then i came to realize that this is due to the version of python and upon searching i i just recommend you that if you are facing the this problem you should try to contact your web hosting provider because this issue it has to be with the installation of the python so i decided to go to cpanel forum and then i found the answer how to deal with this i think the answer is here yes of course on the cpanel forum they were saying that python application turns the three five hundred and three using the right speed so i'm using the right speed cloud linux that's why i'm having this problem so i i tried to go to other hosting providers i had no problem so if you're having this problem is this is because with this light speed cloud linux so they said that the solution the the solution is that you can read i will leave, I will leave the link in the description but you can read here that the issue is mostly caused by the lack of python 3.8 i guess it's for me it is 3.9 wsgi package so maybe it is out of date so the package needs to be installed manually so to work around this you, you have to go so you have to to make sure that the package is installed and the versions of uh, right speed version you should be using 5.3.4 okay so after installing it and being and it is updated so you learn this script here to make sure that the python selector packages or that they have been installed so guys this is how i want to show you because you can just try to check i have you know for example you can see that i tried to check on my server i have this package here you can see this one here so i tried to view what the error log which is being printed inside and then i came to realize that this is the error i'm getting so you can guess uh, that this is due to the python version so upon searching i came to get this answer so guys you have to contact your web hosting provider and if you don't have the admin access just contact them and tell them to install for you the update version of right speed server and the version should be this one okay and they should install this python 3.8 wsgi package on it so 
after doing this i'm pretty sure that you will have the problem solved so guys thank you so much for watching i hope to see you on another video please leave your comments give it a like and let me know if you this answer was help for you and please if you find my profile on fiverr please hire me okay thank you so much for watching